after the latest swarm of earthquakes in Alaska and the double earthquake that we had today, Alaska and California, it's a fair question to ask because these earthquakes were on the Pacific Ring of Fire. Now, does the Ring of Fire and the Alaska earthquakes, are they linked to the Yellowstone volcano in any way? And does it have any risk of erupting because of the activity along the Ring of Fire? This is by Amelie Haddon on Express UK. The Ring of Fire stretches along a 25,000 mile arc where the world's most active and dangerous volcanoes are to be found. That's where we have most of our earthquake and volcanic activity. Now, could the recent Alaska earthquakes be connected to the Yellowstone supervolcano and could it erupt because of this? Earthquakes in Alaska, over 190 in uh, this year alone. In the infamous Ring of Fire are frequent occurrence as the region lies on a major fault line, the Denali Fault. On January 9th, a four magnitude tremor struck the northern United States and dozens of smaller quakes have occurred since then. And the bigger one, as we know, was uh, November 30th with a 7.0. And all since then, we've had a tremendous amount of earthquake swarms considered aftershocks. In the first nine days of 2019 alone, Alaska has been shaken by 81 earthquakes of magnitude 2.5 or higher, according to the United States Geological Survey. These moving tectonic plates make up the Ring of Fire, and they make a connection between Alaska and Yellowstone National Park. The moving tectonic plates, which make up the Ring of Fire, makes a connection between Alaska and Yellowstone National Park. So there's your answer. This ring of fire makes a connection between Alaska and Yellowstone. Yellowstone National Park is a supervolcano, as we know, and the Alaskan earthquake could potentially send dangerous energy to the Yellowstone volcano, the supervolcano, which is one of the most dynamic sites on Earth. Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, scientists confirm both local and more remote earthquakes in the United States have caused increased activity in Yellowstone. Scientists said distance earthquakes have triggered clusters of small earthquakes at Yellowstone, like those caused by the 2002 Denali, Alaska earthquake. We've also seen a tremendous uptick of the steamboat geyser eruption this past year, and they say that the variations in the geyser eruption patterns are a common consequence of local and distant strong earthquakes. Quote, seismic shaking can cause hydrothermal plumbing systems to collapse, changing how Yellowstone thermal features behave, and even resulting in a small stream explosion, steam explosions. End quote. Earthquakes occur when energy is released from the uh, interior of the Earth and where huge amounts of heat is stored. The heat drives the plates to move against one another and produce friction and causes energy to build up. And the energy released is what triggers the earthquake. Seismologists cannot predict when or where earthquakes will strike or how large they will be. At least 450 active and dormant volcanoes lie on this Pacific Ring of Fire, where the supervolcano in Yellowstone being is most dangerous if it were to erupt. The volcano has only erupted three times in history, with the last one being 640,000 years ago. Although this is a long time ago, scientists still consider it worthy monitoring constantly. Now, will Yellowstone volcano erupt? Three eruptions at Yellowstone appear to have occurred, they say, about 600,000 to 700,000 year cycle starting. In 2001 million years ago, some scientists suggest this means Yellowstone is now overdue for an eruption. The Yellowstone supervolcano is a thousand times more powerful than a regular volcano and could result in changes felt all along the Earth. In March 2018, the Yellowstone-based geyser steamboat began a series of eruptions for the first time since 2014, further sparking fears that Yellowstone volcano may soon erupt. However, USGS noted the hydrothermal changes in the geysers are not likely to any 
increase, have any increased volcanic activity in Yellowstone supervolcano. So despite fears an eruption could be imminent, there's no need to worry right now. For the time being, the United States Geological Survey said the odds of Yellowstone erupting are 0.00014% lower than the odds of getting hit by a civilization-destroying asteroid. In fact, someday the supervolcano may never erupt again, they say. Well, maybe that's wishful thinking. I don't know. After all, it is a live volcano and it's active with various hydrothermal activities and earthquakes. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.